So after I kind of introduce what I'm basically gonna be dubbing a mega set, I'll then at the end of the video guys, show you a full blown workout, which should be less than 10 minutes. You guys can follow along if you guys want to at the end of the video. But before I do get into that guys, a brief announcement, I'm gonna be experimenting with that YouTube memberships where I'll be offering some exclusive content. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check down below or just click that little join button. Uh, down below the video if you guys want to get more information on that. I'll put timestamps in this video guys if you want to jump to a certain section. Uh, as always, everything you guys can see in this video, I will link down below in the description box if you guys do want to support me in the channel. As always, very least, if you guys help me out, like, share, subscribe, this content, immensely helpful. Now originally my whole plan for this video was just to talk about going to failure on a total gym, the kind of the pros and cons with that. Because I always recommend kind of basing your sets more on feeling versus just going to failure. But for some people that's basically what they're doing anyways. I'm always hesitant on saying, you know, quote unquote, going to failure because one, going to absolute failure can be hard to do. It has the potential to cause injury. Uh, and last, it can be counterintuitive because you start kind of incorporating other secondary muscles that really you're not intended to in that initial exercise. Now, if you guys have ever tried this yourselves, like I have, uh, you really heavily do tax and light up some other fibers that you weren't used to doing. Uh, just something different, good way to kind of, like I said, shock the system a little bit. And that kind of leads me into this mega set that I do think is a little bit unique to the nature of a total gym. Now this whole mega set thing could be based on something else. You guys can correct me if you heard of something like this. Uh, I just kind of just coined some sort of phase because it is really taking advantage of like one big giant set where you should be doing a lot of repetitions. And this mega set's really consisting of three distinct kind of features. I shouldn't say distinct features. You can take advantage of one upwards of all three of them if you want to. Uh, but all three are gonna be building up some initial point of failure, then incorporating the rest pause sets. I did a whole video talking about the value of rest pause sets and how I use them very often. And then third and lastly is gonna be if you get to the point where you can't do any more rest pause sets, you start incorporating uh, some assisted failure sets, maybe with your legs or some extra, extra limb that you can to kind of force out some extra reps. Uh, and or you can incorporate like eccentric loads into that in that set. So how this kind of plays out, and again, I'm gonna show you guys this in a workout in a second. You put the incline setting to an, a basically an intensity range that gives you to, gets you to kind of like form failure around like 15 to 20 repetitions. That's pretty much my average for a lot of uh, exercises I do. So let's say I'm doing a chest press. I do that 15 to 20 repetitions. I could do more, but the form starts getting a little sloppy. But as soon as I get to that point, I'm gonna stop briefly. That's like kind of that rest pause sequence. And I'm not gonna rest any more than say three to five seconds, but keep that as minimal as possible, even one to two or three seconds. And like I said, you'd be really surprised how many repetitions you can actually can squeeze out. So we're gonna keep doing that. We're gonna repeat that for as many sequences as we can, for as many reps as we can, it's gonna be pretty tough. And then we get to that part where like, this is absolutely as much as I can do. I can't take, can't take advantage of more of these rest pause sets. Then you start incorporating the assisted sets. And by that, I'm gonna use my feet, put my feet in a position, or I can use, I use my legs in this instance, you guys will see later. I'll use the extra leg to kind of incorporate with the uh, single leg. And that's basically it. So if that's not totally clear, we're gonna do a workout here in a second. You guys can follow along with it. If you guys wanna pause the video, feel free to do that. All right guys, jumping into this workout, we're gonna do kind of a total body workout. We're gonna do chest, back, uh, legs and then some arms, biceps and triceps here. You can feel free to put on every kind of exercise you guys want. If you want to sub out uh, maybe chest for shoulders today, you could do that too. We're going to see how this goes. Definitely going to be dropping the volume down because this is going to be really tough. If you got to like, you know, scream out those last few sets, uh, for sure, I'm going to be wincing like crazy. I'm going in here to this very dry. So again, if you had zero time, you didn't have a whole lot of workout time, this is definitely something better than nothing. And at the very least, it'll definitely shock your system a little bit. All right, so let's jumping into it. Get a setting or incline setting or a resistance setting if you got some external weights, whatever, that'll get you to that initial failure of like 15 to 20 repetitions, okay? As soon as that happens, I'll be talking over this. We're gonna get ready to set up here in a second. Um, I'm gonna do, uh, like I said, 15 to 20. I'll do a rest pause for about maybe one to two seconds. Uh, and that's basically it. Now, if you do take, uh, one thing I'm thinking about, I take beta, beta alanine, that's gonna help kind of buffer some of this uh, acid that's gonna be building up. So if you're into like supplements and you're doing stuff like, like this, that's kind of higher intensity in the sense we're building up a lot of stress, uh, beta alanine can be a great supplement. So we'll see if that actually pays off. All right, here we go, getting set up guys. Here's that point of initial failure, let's go.
121. Try and focus all on your chest. Your arms are gonna start wanting to help out now. I'm still going, I'm way past 21. That tension's starting to build up. All right, taking a break here. I don't know what number that was at, but way past 20. All right, here we go. Rest pause again here, a couple seconds. Here we go again. Rest pause again, might be the last rest pause, we'll see. All right, here we go. One more rest pause. Here we go. Okay, main rest pause, we're doing four sets here. I'm using my feet to get in more repetitions. And let's go. Last one, guys. All right, one of you guys could have counted that. Not sure what that was. All right, we're doing the rows now. Any grip you want, any row you want. Same deal, here we go, get set up. Let's start with the initial sets to failure. First rest pause, here we go. All right guys, rest pause here quickly. I'm really trying to focus in on that muscle group here. I'm really trying to focus in on my lats. Here we go. Okay guys, rest pause here. Here we go. Last rest pause. Here we go. Okay, assist in now, here we go.
using my feet here. All right, guys, moving down to legs. Go single leg, and here we go. Initial set to failure. Okay, rest for a second, guys. Here we go. Here we go again, guys. Press pause, there we go. Hold up now, I'm getting pretty tired. Here we go. Okay, assisted sets here. All right guys, that was good. My lats pretty lit up from that previous set. All right, other leg, here we go. All right, a little rest pause. And begin. Rest pause, about two seconds, and go. Let's pause again. Here we go. Let's 
It's getting up there. Two more seconds, here we go. Okay, assisted sets. Use the other leg. Legs are a bigger muscle group, so you probably could have done a little more than that. Actually, it probably was an absolute failure as I kind of lied a little bit, but we would be here all day actually with the legs. But again, you can do this whole thing over again if you guys want to. Okay, moving on to biceps, triceps. You certainly could try some other single joint if you want to, like shoulders or something else like that. Uh, you can pick whatever bicep curl you guys like. Pick one that you're most comfortable with that you think you can do the most repetitions on. I'm gonna do this kneeling face slant away from the tower only because of that I know I can maximize my feet in the ground here, okay? All right, getting set up and starting out here. All right, here we go, let's start it up. Rest pause, I'm already gonna go seated. Not gonna use my legs though. All right, here we go. Definitely burning guys, couple seconds here. This is a harder, higher incline that I probably should have put it at, but let's keep going. Seconds. Okay, let's go. All right, again. All right, we're doing assisted ones now. Feet in the ground, at least I am. seconds here. Here we go. Still assisted. Okay, I'm gonna do about two more of these. Here we go, assisted. Probably should stop here, but I'm gonna do one more. Oh, okay. Your triceps. All right, now you should definitely be having a good pump in your arm or somewhere. We're going triceps, last one. I'm gonna go this way, only because I can use my feet here on the uh, squat stand. All right, here we go. Initial sets to failure. This is gonna be a little tougher though. Here we go.
a little break. Did more than I thought it was. All right, here we go again. Ooh. Here we go. We're getting shorter. Okay, here we go again. Okay. Assisted sets here. Press pause. There we go, assisted. All right, two more. Last set, here we go. Okay. okay guys, that is it. Uh, definitely wasn't an efficient, quick workout, but I don't know about you, if it's something different that you normally don't do like me, my triceps and biceps, my arms, actually everything I really worked is really pumped up, but definitely my arms super pumped up from doing that. So maybe in the future what we can do is actually make this a shorter duration, kind of like more condensed, a higher intensity type of a workout where we put on some external weight plates. So you can probably get a really efficient total body workout utilizing these mega sets in probably less than 10 minutes. So we'll mess around with that in the future. Hopefully at the very least, you guys can take advantage of these you know, mega sets. Maybe I'll refer to this more in the future. Definitely something really cool. Uh, hopefully mix things up a bit, stress the muscles, shock the muscles a bit. Always gotta be careful, of course. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, uh, look forward to that um, YouTube membership. Please look into it. There's a little, little tab down below. You guys can check out that little join button if you guys wanna see those uh, exclusive content. Might not be for you, but I'll be throwing in a lot of little things like this, other kind of random workouts here and there if you guys are interested. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.